Hi there, my name is Rick Coleman, and I want to introduce you today to a product that allows Keithley DAC 6510 data loggers and 6500 DMMs to send data directly to a remote monitoring system called Initial State. Once it's in Initial State, you can do things like create interactive dashboards, set triggers on critical thresholds, do things like remote monitor from anywhere on any device, including phone, as well as share that data with any of your coworkers securely. Let's check it out. The Keithley 6510 is an incredible device for long running tests. It allows you to set up scans, trigger models, and other automation to do complicated, high channel count, test, and data logging. In this demo, we're going to connect to two temperature channels on the 6510 and monitor them continuously as if you might in an environmental chamber test. Our goal here is to send these continuous measurements up to initial state so we can build remote monitoring on top of it. Since we're going to be sending these points to a remote location, we first need to go check our LAN settings and make sure that they are set up properly. As you can see here, the instrument has an IP address and LAN is working. Now that we know we can see the network, let's go set up a scan. I'm going to turn on two temperature channels as stated before, adding those channels 110 and 115, which are on this demo board, and go through the scan settings and set to continuous scanning, which is infinite scan count, and I'll go ahead and set a half second sampling rate. At this point, I could just start the scan. But instead, I'm going to go over to the apps, and now you see initial state as an app. I'm going to say start app, give our bucket a name. I'll just take the default key and hit go. The instrument's telling us that this is a continuous acquisition. I say OK, and now my instrumentation is clicking away, taking samples every half second. Now let's head over to a browser. I'm on a computer here, but you could be on your phone. This is completely remote and not on the same network as the day logger. Here you can see I've built out a dashboard for our two temperature signals, and I'm plotting a number of other things based on mathematical transformations of those signals. There's different views like a raw data view and a waves view. Notice that as I'm playing with this dashboard, new data is coming in. The Keithley is still clicking away on my desk and sending data, and we're seeing it update in real time here. I'm zooming into that spike, and you can see you can traverse data very easily. Here, I'm zoomed into a portion of a graph, and I'm going to go ahead and add an annotation to that portion and say there's a temperature spike here. What that allows you to do is later when you're on your dashboard, you see that that part of the timeline is clickable, and you zoom right back to that area of interest. There's a number of other things that we've done here on this dashboard, and I'll just show a few. I'm editing this tile and showing that there's actually four signals inside of that graph. Each of these signals can have different mathematical transformations. They can also be shown in different ways in different graphs. Just for example here, the temperature is coming in in degrees C, and I've built a mathematical transformation to actually show that in Fahrenheit, as well as style the text a little bit. Now let's take a look at this bucket at the settings level. First, there's some identifiers here and API endpoints that allow you to send data from anywhere so you could aggregate data from multiple devices. Also, I wanna show making a trigger. So here I'm gonna configure channel 110. If it's greater than 100, I wanna send an email, you could send a text to myself at initial state. The templating system allows you to add things like the URL directly to the bucket, the bucket name, the bucket key, and you can type arbitrary text in there. I'll just say that there's a temperature alert so that when I get this email, I'll realize what's gone wrong. Let's go ahead and confirm that trigger and move over to sharing. Here you can see that you can actually share this via link, which means that anyone with the link can view this dashboard. You can also share this securely. So I'm sharing this just to a username and only that username can access it. Remember, this dashboard is live. Data has been coming into this dashboard all along as we've been making these configurations. There's a wealth of other knowledge, demos, 
videos, support on our website. So head over to initialstate.com and check that out. So I hope you can see the value in some of this as you build long running tests and have requirements around remote monitoring and checking on things, sending triggers that send you texts and emails about the state of your experiment, um, and setting up dashboards like the one seen here and easily be able to share that with your coworkers securely. If you want more information, check us out on www.initialstate.com/keithley. Thanks for watching.